Hey everyone, it's Monday morning. The Big Bass Bash is over. Didn't weigh in a fish for that event. Caught a few, you know, nothing of much size though. But now it's time for the Costa FLW event this weekend and getting some practice in for that. So, I'm out on the water. We've got a little bit of a fog situation out here. So I'll be taking my time. There's no reason to rush anything. Uh, this is kind of just fun fishing. I'm going to be hopefully seeing quite a few bass boats out here with guys that will be the boaters in this event uh, on this, you know, this weekend. And when I do, I'm going to try to kind of spy on them a little bit and see what they're up to, what they might be doing. I've got some things to try. Um, and, uh, well, we'll see if we can learn the lake a little bit and have some fun in the process. So I'll get some pictures, maybe a little video here and there. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, that was a really awesome ride. Uh, had a couple thick patches of fog, but mostly it wasn't too bad at all. And I was really happy to see that with the half a tank of the one tank, so three or so gallons, I was able to get all the way from up here in Osage Beach all the way down. Geez, quite a ways, really. I mean, I, I was riding for a while. All the way down to here. So not as bad as I thought it would be on the gas when I was running so good news there good to know so I found the shallows of the back of the creek a little bit and we're gonna start fishing it's just so beautiful here I started throwing a crankbait and I hooked into something giant and it's probably a catfish because it will not come up. But we'll see if I can get a picture of it. When I oh, this thing came up a couple times. It is the biggest fish I've ever hooked into for sure. I don't even know what it is. But it just came up and just splashed the entire boat <laughs> with its tail. This is insane. If I ever get it back up to the surface, I just want to get my crankbait back. <laughs> well, that was exhausting. It took about 30 minutes, but I got my crankbait back. <laughs> I'll tell you what, those KVD triple grips, they don't come off. The thing was hooked on the side of the head, and um, man, it, it, in the end it was one hook holding them on for probably the last 15 minutes, but I got it. I finally wore them out enough and talked them into coming up to the surface and just hanging out for a minute so I could get it out with pliers. That thing was huge! Craziness. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, so this morning we drove, as I showed you earlier, from here all the way down to there. 
and then we fished our way back all the way to about there um almost all on the trolley motor so it's getting late and we're gonna head back the rest of the way on the big motor and maybe tomorrow morning come back out here and try to finish up some of the, some more of this and still have Wednesday of course to play around definitely didn't get any bigger fish except for that one stupid thing whatever that was um, until we got to deeper water uh, if we would until we got close to the 30 where 30 and 40 was didn't even catch a keeper so that was kind of interesting um, kind of goes in line with what I heard some people saying yesterday at that uh, Big Bass Bash meeting. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Good morning, everyone. It is about 6.50. It is Tuesday. And we're headed out for day two of our practice. Uh, really just having a lot of fun out here. This place is so beautiful that even without catching a lot of fish, it's still awesome. Um, but the goal is to try to figure out how to catch more fish so I have a few things tied on today a little bit different than yesterday and we're gonna go out and see what we can do it's a little cooler today right now it's about 64 and it's supposed to be dropping all day long so that's what it looks like right now not quite sunrise and a little bit overcast they were predicting storms all morning but that's actually pushed off and now it should be just cloudy but we brought the rain gear just in case, because you never know. Alright, well, we're going to start out where we finished yesterday, where we caught some fish, and uh, then make our way back. So remember yesterday, we rode from up here all the way down to the end of the creek arm, and fished our way back. Skipped a couple of bigger pockets, but made our way all the way back up the river to here. And today we're going to see if we can't make our way back through most of that. May tap into a little bit of this, maybe a little bit of that, but it seems like there are still fish in this area right here. And this is a very extended point, underwater point there. So it seems like this might be part of a pattern that could work. I'm frozen like a popsicle <laughs> it's uh, 55 degrees out there I'm, I just got back in the hotel room and it's uh, been a long day on the water but a lot of fun I probably caught about a dozen fish all of them were relatively small 13 four, maybe a 14 incher here or there but still not big fish you know um, fished my way back through a bunch of pockets through the main lake pretty much on main lake points that were deep points was where I got the most bites caught a couple on a square bill a couple on a deeper crankbait caught a couple on a uh, caffeine shad jerkbait you know type thing out of the docks caught one or two off of a white swim jig uh, off the docks so kind of a real variety of different stuff but um, it was fun it was fun just real cold today the wind is kicking and like I said it was 65 when I left this morning and it dropped to 55 I think now uh, tomorrow is gonna be in the 40s in the morning so I'm gonna probably head out there anyway I've got the gear for it no big deal um, get out there and see what I can find you know explore the lake a little more I'm having a absolute blast out there with it so keep doing that all right guys it's the last morning for fun fishing at Lake of the Ozarks tomorrow we'll start the Costa FLW series event 
So I'm out here, it's about 45 degrees. You can see I'm a little bit bundled up. You know, it was in the highs in the 80s when I got here Friday and Saturday. Really warm. And uh, today and tomorrow in the morning at least, it's gonna be about 45 degrees. So I'm a little bundled up. We're gonna head out here and do a little bit of a run back to where we kind of started the week, or last weekend anyway. I wanna see what's going on over there. And then I think we're gonna head back near where we've been staying all week. Uh, a guy at the dock told me yesterday that there's quite a bit more to this pocket than meets the eye. So I'm gonna maybe fun fish back in there a little bit. Let's see what's going on. Uh, that's about it for now. And I'll hopefully get some pictures of some good sized fish today. I'm not gonna be out here too long, maybe till 12 or so. Then get back rest up a little bit and then we've got the meeting tonight for the Costa Series event. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, I got one cranking in the spot that I started with. This is where I started on Friday. Maybe caught the same fish, I don't know. It's a good one. Let's get some more. Alright, so I got another little one. Nothing to write home about there. But uh, I'm going to stick to my original plan. I've already been over here for about an hour. So I'm going to go back to the area where I've been staying and fish that whole pocket, which, uh, as I mentioned, is bigger than I thought it was. There's quite a few bass boats out today. I'm sure these guys are pretty much all pre-fishing for that Costa FLW series event. Nice, cloudy, misty morning again. And chili. Burr. That's a fun one. I skipped the buzz bait under a dock a couple times, and the third time actually, wham, he ate it. Hey guys, so you've seen some of the fish that I've caught today. Definitely a better day for fishing and uh, talked to one of the guys fishing in this Costa event and uh, showed him a couple of areas that I was fishing and catching some fish on yesterday and the day before. He gave me some baits to try and uh, that was pretty cool. So now it's about 12 o'clock. I'm about done. I'm gonna go take the boat back to the dock. This is the last day I'm using the boat down here actually. I just realized that. So, I'm going to put it in the dock and get stuff kind of put away, ready for tomorrow. Go to that meeting for the Costa event and meet the boater that I'm going to be fishing with. After that, we'll see if uh, any of the stuff I have tied on might work in the areas he wants to fish. I'll have to figure out how deep he wants to fish and what we're doing. But uh, that'll be that. So that's, that's it for fun fishing at Lake of the Ozarks. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.